welcome to episode 128 and today we are talking about five reasons why the DIY rock star should consider using a pseudonym. What is a pseudonym? A pseudonym, thank you for asking, is an alternative name that a person uses often. Um, the example that they gave in on the website that I went to, the Webster um, Online Dictionary, was think about Dr. Seuss. That is his pseudonym. His actual name was Theodore Geisel or something. Okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. It's a name that you use a lot of times for writers. It's called a pen name. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but what purpose does it serve? Okay. There are actually five benefits. Okay. All right. So, let's launch into those. Um, and actually, this reference is a blog post that um, you can find that kind of, um, you know, fleshes out the entire argument. But... Number one, it is. Uh, well, let, let me just kind of back up one minute. Back so up one minute. That's, so there's this guy uh, that was in this small group that, you know, organized somewhere in the 1960s. And, I mean, he joined the group kind of later. Okay. And I think his name, um, his name is Richard Starkey. Okay. And then I think that maybe what would be a pseudonym for him would be Ringo Starkey. Yeah. Is that yes. So is that kind of what we mean yes. by a pseudonym, right? Yes, a is pseudonym. That, that you know, a sting. Uh, yeah, sting, right? Mm -hmm. Who is the one? Gordon, Gordon Sumner. Sumner, right? Right. right. So, okay. right. so that's what we're right. Talking about. Okay. So there are quite a few benefits, and you know there are detriments too, but you can figure that out on your own. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna talk about the benefits. Okay. Okay. So the first benefit for using a pseudonym for the DIY rock star is it expresses a multifaceted personality. Right. Okay. And what do you mean by that? Okay. So, for, I mean, why, why can't like a regular name? Well, first that? of all, it, the name that you are given is not even your choice. Okay. That's you know, you yeah. it, that it's is, given to you. It's, it's, it's slapped it's, onto you right. when you're born, and right. they put it on the birth certificate and send you on your way. Right. right? Gotcha. Um, and so you didn't even have any, um, you know, help in in choosing that. Okay. And so I guess I know for us that we've been, I guess, creators and artists probably forever. Right. And I know from the earliest time, I always wanted to have something that that expressed whatever the personality of that I was taking on at the time. So I would change it every few years, but yeah. Okay. So, so that like, it kind of gives, um, a, it gives you a vibe, which is one of our later reasons. Uh, before you even read anything that I have written, okay. it gives you a feeling for what you can expect. Okay. So, so there's a, there's a marketing ex aspect. Oh uh, yeah. Actually that okay. is number four on the list. Okay. All right. So yeah. I don't want to jump ahead, but anyway. Yeah. So, so the first so. thing is it expresses personality, you know, that, that as I change that name change. Okay. I mean, and, and I guess we've kind of seen that in like our the work that we do. Mm -hmm. It's like, uh, it's not to say that we don't do multifaceted work. Right. But it's sort of like sometimes, I mean, at least I look at it like the bourgeoisie paper jam mm -hmm. thing that we do. It's kind of like a catch-all for everything. Okay. Okay. So, so right. some of everything can be done underneath that. That's true. Mm -hmm. But when we're taking like deep explorations mm -hmm. into maybe a specific kind of genre. Right. Or, or, just things that might be, uh, let's say, a little bit more experimental, mm -hmm. especially electronic experimental. Usually, we might put that under the projippies. And actually, you are to another one of our reasons why you should use well, right. why we use right. But but that's kind of going back to your first thing, the multifaceted personality well, that, yeah. that that you're segmenting yes. certain things off. Yes. And and you're putting them under different pseudonyms, yes. right? So you know, so that it helps. So, so, so that, that it kind of has like a, a certain cohesiveness, right? With respect to, to this brand. particular expression, yes, right. Yes. I mean, and so that's the same thing, like with the Tony Webb stuff. Is when it's more instrumental, uh, base, uh, maybe base oriented, oriented not yes. necessarily, not necessarily base. Um, what, what can I say? Uh, you know, not not necessarily that. Oh, yeah, it's just Mr. Great Bass Player, but it's more centered around. Yes. That. Then that's more yes. in the twenty web band. Oh, yeah, different, different buckets. Right. And that actually taps into a different one, but that's good. We'll get there. Right. The second benefit for having um, the pseudonym for the DIY rock star is it provides anonymity. It allows us as artists who, you know, have you know worked day jobs that 
you don't have to worry about stifling your expression because you fear reprisal um, from somebody who you work with or your boss or whoever else. You, you, ma- right. you maintain that anonymity. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, and that, that, and that is important because for it, it was definitely for me when we were doing the the Depressed International, be, the the zine, because a lot of times I was just unleashing, you know, everything, and I just didn't want to be, I didn't want people to know that I work with, that right. that's what I was doing in my own. Office. So will people feel like, you know, because. I think people can take that a, a couple of different ways. Uh-huh. So many of that, they might feel like, okay, so that's, that allows you to kind of be this bomb Thor, and then you can hide well, behind... This, I got that as the next know, reason. You can hide behind the yes. pseudonym yes. And, 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 and throw these bombs, yes. and then obviate right. yourself yeah, I know. of responsibility I know. for I know. what you're doing. It's true. You know? and, and I'm so saying that's that, a detriment, yes. Right. Well, I'm, I'm saying that people feel like that happens yeah. on the Twitter trolls, yeah. and all the rest of the yeah. stuff. So, you know, people have this handle right. that they're known as, right. you, know, you know, Bobby Bob X920. Right. You, know, you don't know who that is. Right. Nope. And this is... Bomb the work, yeah. That's doing these things, or you know, because they being, think you can't find them, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. You know, so I, so I, I think that that's the thing too, is that as artists, do you have a responsibility to own your work, you know, and and mm. does a pseudonym kind of, I guess, absolve you uh, of that responsibility, responsibility to own your work. Okay. I mean, no, no, I, I'm not. I, 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 I was about to say that, that as a question. That sounds like a. a, a um, a whole nother segment, but it sounds like that is that, that could I mean, be a I, byproduct. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That, that, that people who may say, "Well, no, I, I'm against that," right? Because right. you know, it's sort of like the John Cougar Mellencamp thing, mm-hmm. right? You know, I mean, he came out as Johnny Cougar, right? Right? Mm-hmm. You know, it hurt, hurt so good. Jack and Diane, yeah. that was John Cougar, and then. He started to reclaim himself, right? You know, by reclaiming the Mellencamp yes, name. Yes. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. so a minute he was John Cougar Mellencamp, right? And then after a while, he just became John Mellencamp. Mellencamp yeah. You know, because he wanted to reclaim himself. Yeah. I guess own his work. Yeah. You know, and so I, I think there's that there's that aspect to yeah. that. If you don't do it that way, yeah. I'm not, I'm not advocating that's that what, either that's side why, is right or wrong. That's why when when we first started um, this again, post is from. Uh, three years ago, that was what bloggers were doing: is naming their whole, you know, blog, um, all their stuff, their full name, right? Their government name, because yeah. that everything is branded with that. But to me, that just, you know, and I, we were weighing in the beginning mm-hmm. whether or not to, you know, use a pseudonym or not. And I guess that's where this whole thing came from: is like, well, I just see too many benefits, right? For for not using, I mean, it, it kind of uh, what you're given name. talking about is almost like the superhero thing, right? You know, I mean, it, it, you, you know, just don't want. I don't. I yeah, right. You know that. Which that. again, a superhero can be considered a vigilante, depending right. on your perspective. So, yeah. so so yeah, it allows you to to engage in the wild wild west uh, behavior. Right. So, yeah, that's true. Um, so the third one, which ties into what you just said, was that it makes us braver. Um, right. You know, it's... it's, it's and which somebody might say, not make us braver, but make us more of a coward. Because it's yeah, easy, that's true. it's easy to throw bombs and then and hide, hide behind. Hide well, behind and something. I guess the thing that I was thinking, as far as, for, especially for the, for our venture, right. is there's still going... We're still visible. Unlike... No, not, and, 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 and again, un- I'm, not, I'm, I'm not taking this and, and, and saying that it's a direct relationship to the way that we're personally doing it but it's just well, trying to think no I'm, I'm just yeah. saying it just thinking about it within the wider scope of things right that, that when right. we say this yeah you know that there are people who will who, take it as you it, well as there are people to. who that's what they do yeah you know not yeah. necessarily saying that they need you or me it's to get the enough. license to do it <laughs> as much as that is what they Fuel do to the fire right you yeah. know i mean there are, there are a lot of people I, i'm Pretty sure there are people who have YouTube channels yeah. who have these people who, you know, lurk, you know, that you don't know who they are. Oh, no. And they're saying these vicious things. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, and, and that's that's kind of yeah. what those people do. Right. right? That's what yeah. the bomb throwers do. Yeah. I mean, again, it's one of those type of things. A pseudonym is a tool. 
It is. Right? It is. And just like a gun can be a useful tool or yeah. it can be a bad tool or a car. You right. know, let, let's say a car. Let, let, let's scratch the gun. Let, <laughs> let's say a car. Right. right? You know, that's something that we all drive and that we all right. can use and, and we use it in a way positively to Most you know, times. Right. Right. right? Yes. yes. That, that, it, but then somebody can take it, use right. it as car bombs. They can yeah. get it run over kids. They can do right. all kinds of yeah. crazy stuff with cars. Yeah. You know, this, yeah. this simply benign instrument. Yeah. That can be used however way, yeah. and that's the same thing with a pseudonym. Yeah, you know, is yeah. that you know, again, it can just be used in so many different ways. Yeah, and I guess I wanted to take all the, you know, because again, there are the terrible parts, you know, right of it, but I wanted to see how it could be a benefit to right. somebody who decides that this is the route that they wanted to take. Right. So, right. and yeah. of course, we chose pseudonyms. I mean, we kind of do a modeling of it, the, the, the two together, right. but we do use a lot of pseudonyms, and I like it. So, so these are the reasons why I like it. Right. Um, so, um, number four for five reasons why a DIY rock star should use a pseudonym is it helps us establish identity, which is what we were talking about before. A name can help brand an artist from one project to the next before anyone ever hears your music. Right. They get a vibe. They get they have a certain expectation. Yes, as based to what on your name. They're right. What they they're going to yeah. what they're going to hear. Right. Yeah. You know, you Sex Pistols, you know you're thinking about <laughs> punk rock. Or right? something you know? that's, yeah. No, no, yeah, I, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying it. That's what they've established with that brand. Right. You know no, but I mean? I'm saying, before, that, like you said, before you even, you, I'm saying that just to name it, before you even get to, you know what they're like. I'm right. saying that, that it, it, it communicates it's going to be something that's going to be in your face. Because why would you shoot sex at me? Right, sex, yeah. Shoot <laughs> them, shoot them. But why would you do that? Right. So, unless you're trying to be inciting some type of strong emotion. Right. Yeah. Right. There was somebody named Screaming Mimi, we think she's going to be doing some stuff. Right. But if it's... I'm trying well, to... But I'll be honest with you, you know, I like a group called The Time, I... Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think they were originally Flight Time. Yeah, they were Flight Time. Not if they were yeah. The Time. But, but after a while, they embodied yeah. something. So they yeah. gave that very... Um, you know, generic name, name yeah. you know, something, you right. know, and so now it's like you hear it and yeah. now it does embody something. Yeah. And so, so yeah, you're right. It's, you know, I, I still think it's, it goes back to the product mm -hmm. is going to shape, you know, what the name means. Yeah, that's true. You that's know what true. I mean? It's just with anything. Yeah. I mean, that, that's yeah. all part of branding, yeah. trademarks, yeah. all the rest of this kind of stuff. I mean, Pepsi you know, if we didn't know the brand, right? Pepsi by itself, anything, it, doesn't right? yeah. yeah. it doesn't mean anything. Coca Cola, yeah, it doesn't mean anything. As a matter of fact, by the time it did mean something, and then we found out later <laughs> that it was because cocaine, there was cocaine Coca in the group in, yeah, in the drink, right. that it was really a descriptive term. Yes, you know that later, you know, and then they had to take it out, right? And and but but after a while, it became just this drink yeah you know yeah. and so this similar drinks that we think of are pepsi up. and coca cola right. coca cola yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. yeah i like that and then number 5 for five reasons why a diy rockstar should use a pseudonym is is just plain fun we're artists yes. we love wordplay yeah. and so even I, and i guess this is my affinity for album slash project is Usually, when for me, when we give it a name, it kind of it kind of groups those songs together. Right, and so that reminds me of the Beatles with Sgt. Pepper. Mm -hmm. and, you know, one of the things that Paul McCartney did to kind of spark the creativity. Well, let's pretend like we're this band. Sergeant oh, Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. I always forget so let's, that. So let's, let's pretend that we're this other band. Okay. And you know, and that's kind of what. Oh. Did. And, you know, we know that that ended up being what people like to say is one of the, the Beatles' greatest albums, right. right? You know, a matter of fact, anytime you hit that pinnacle in your career, right. people say, this is your Sergeant, Sergeant Pepper. Pepper. Oh. So, yeah, so that's what they say about that. You know, but again, it mm. was kind of pulled and called, the creativity was called from being this pseudonym. Yeah. You know, or, or okay. Eric Clapton, Derek and the Dominoes. You know, yeah, so, I, right. I mean, so, that, cool. you know, there's other people who have who done the these type of things. Similar type of things. Right. Okay. You know, said, you know, assume these names. Right. And it 
pull something else out of their personality. Yeah. You know, is that David Bowie with the Ziggy Stardust? Ziggy Stardust. Okay. I mean, he's done so many different yeah. incarnations. Okay. You know, and, and and sometimes it could just be band names. You mm -hmm. know, like, hey, I'm with this band. This is what I do. Mm -hmm. You know, when I do this band, this is what I yeah, do. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's that true. It, it can just help to cordon things off. Yeah. And kind of say, okay, you know, when I'm feeling this, this is. I like this. What like comes the furniture out. arrangement in a room. All right. Yeah. yeah. It helps. That, that sometimes it's it, anything that kind of helps to spark the creativity. Yeah. That's, you know, um, always a good thing to kind of have. Yeah, I like that. You know, so. Mm. And okay. we know that Prince has done it so many different oh, times my with goodness. Alexander Nord. Never Norma, mind. Never mind. Yeah. Joey Coco. And Jamie Starr. Jamie Starr yeah. producing the time and yeah. all the rest of this kind of stuff. Yeah. Just, just uh, again, it's just this thing that. I mean, sometimes it, it creates this illusion of community, yeah. which is sometimes, I think, a good thing, too. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, because, it, you know, music is a communal thing. And yeah. sometimes it is kind of hard to wrap your head around, you know, one person doing yeah, I think so that's many different kinda things. Yeah, I think that's kind of how it is with us that, that I, I guess I kind of look at us as as a production company, as songwriting production, because it's not just about a band. It's not just about a sound. Right. It's, you know, it's not just about... So, it, it's like you need all of the various pseudonyms to kind of... To capture. And then there are other pseudonyms that we haven't even... You know, like the, the techno. We're doing synthetic living organism. Right. We've done the Jezebel, which was the house music. We've done Kyle, which was the house music. So, we've had right. um, that. But I think we need that because it just would be completely... Right, yeah, crazy. yeah, because sometimes, right, yeah, if to, people would just have a right, time, to have the rock, the kinda, techno, right. the experimental all on one album, I know it could, right, you know, but it probably would be crazy for marketing. So I think that that actually is, that's yeah. one of the benefits of having the more than one um, product name, band name, whatever. Right, they just kind of segment things, so yeah, they, you know, so and they you just know sometimes what to they keep things kind of straight too. Yeah, you know, so like it's yeah. what bucket you categorize it in. Right. All right, what do you think? Should an artist use a pseudonym, or should they just always be Rebecca Lee from wherever? Right. You know, <laughs> I don't know what Donna uh, Lana Del Rey's. Oh yeah. Is, but and, you know what? Whatever. And that I mean, was the same thing with Bob Dylan. We found out that was a pseudonym. I just <laughs> thought that was such a simple name. Right. Right. But he's really Zimmerman. Yeah. So yeah, again, yeah, so yeah. but it was it because he kind of recrafted his story. Yeah. So anyway, you get it. You get right. it. That's Stevie Wonder. Same thing. Oh, you know Stevie what I mean? Wonder. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. And, and so Stevie oh, Wonder yeah. is not. Yeah. That that's the Wonder it's is just not so his used last to name. To yeah. You, you, you used to saying Stevie yeah. Wonder all the time. Don't you just even think, think about, about that. it. But yeah, that's 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 not his name. We would love to hear your thoughts on it. So share it with us in the comments below. What else? Ah, uh, the funk album. Funk album, soon. funk album. Yep, yeah, any day coming now. Yeah, it's sure. coming out. June first is tomorrow, so yes. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it for now. I think that's it. If yeah. you dig the vibe, be sure to subscribe. We're wishing you love, peace, and chicken grease. Yeah.